Our grandpa wa was one of the first ones that he was one of the first <laughs> ones that went into Colonia Chuchupa. Okay. And he got to he got to be the cook and another guy got to be the bottle washer. In other words, did the dishes. Uh -huh. And then another guy did the surveying and another guy did the measuring. And they went up and measured off Colonia Chuchupa. Okay. And that's they went they went from Colonial Juarez up to Colonia Chuchupa. Okay, this picture here shows a, a, a haystack. Uh, down there, the farmers would always get all get together and gather up their own, own hay and each help each other out. And they had these big forks that'd go in and pick up the hay and take it, take it and stack it high. No they, no, they didn't cut it by hand. They cut it with a mowing machine that was drawn by the horse. And then they would pile it up and you know each guy owned their own mowing machine. All right, they cut they cut the hay with a mowing machine. It was a two two wheel deal. The man sit on it and drove two horses and the mowing machine had cut it. And then they had these dump rakes. They'd go drag along and then they'd get a ball of hay underneath the, the rake and then they'd press a lever and it would dump. They stacked it up that way and then they went along with a pitchfork and picked it up and threw it up on the, on the wagon with a pitchfork. And I was two years old and Alfred was four. And then we was along with him. And he got raised up. Well, we got a full load. And then we uh, came from was headed back to town and I fell asleep on the hay and I started to cry and my dad said, Alfred, leave Bill alone. And Alfred says, Daddy, I ain't bothering him. And my dad turned around and seen this black timber rattler crawling across my face. I was laying on my right side and it bit me right here. And right Right, right here, next to the eye, right here. He took a pitchfork and threw the rattler off and it hit a fence like this right here and went around like this and landed on one of the horses and it scared the horse and he took off running and Grandpa Baker, my, dad, my grandpa, was holding the horses and... Finally, he let go, and the horses kept running. He wanted to get to town, and my dad was holding me and sucking on the on the spot where the snake bit. And as soon as they got to the first house, my dad slipped off the rat wagon and ran in and got a knife from this lady. And she says, oh my goodness, and they, my dad was cut cut a slot right here. My cousin was there. He ran to school and told him that little Bill got bit with a rattlesnake. And everything, everybody brought remedies and everything. And Grandpa Baker says, that's my dad, says, go get this Indian woman, an old Indian woman that lived there. So they went and got her. And he told my dad, she told my dad, get, go kill the best looking rooster you got. So they killed this rooster, of that hot meat, hot, put it on a polis. There's a polis on the, this hole, this rattlesnake bite. And they put it there and held it there for a long time. And then my head swole up and my eyes swole like little peep holes. My nose, right here where my nose is, it was flat, and then just the hole sticking out. And but right up on my cheeks, right here, you see it's different, cut different yeah. shades. Up to when I was 13 years old, I could peel scabs off without even skinning myself. You're bleeding, you know. And 
uh, the pyre, the priesthood and everything. That's what brought me, get me alive. Otherwise, I'd be dead. It only got me with one thing, though. That's, that's the story of that.